Hey, it's your girl Whoopi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello. Today we are looking at some open thoughts. Now this is going to be a series that I'm going to do throughout the course of my time on YouTube, however long that is. But yeah, it's just some thoughts from my notes, my journal, some other thoughts of other people's that I've picked up along the way. But that's all I have for this intro, so let's begin. I'm going to be reading these off my laptop, so if I'm not looking at the camera, just be thankful I'm not giving you eye contact. First one. When sadness hits, it stays and makes a home for itself for however long it stays. I thought it was pretty poetic, you know, if you ask me, because I'm the one that wrote it, but I just thought it was a cool analogy or simile. Wait, metaphor? Is it a metaphor? Whatever is imagery and you get what I mean. There's no need to detail the aftermath. I've lived through it already. I mean, if you've lived through it already, there's no need to like revisit it every day, all day. You know, some things are just nicely left where they were. You don't need to re-explain. Just leave it behind. Maybe I was expecting too much from me. Maybe my brain needed this break. And boy, was I right. I think sometimes we give ourselves way too high expectations and then we become way too hard on ourselves and for what who's gonna benefit no one so this is a sign for anyone who's being hard on themselves today take a step back okay pat yourself on the back instead you're doing great you're doing great sweetie gosh mean girl really does live on the bigger picture makes you realize how simple some steps are I think us as people, we forget to look at the bigger picture sometimes because we're all so wrapped up in like next step, next step, which is also okay too because sometimes you can only get to the next step because that's just where you are right now. But also sometimes it's good to look at the big picture and be like, okay, actually some of these steps towards my goal aren't as big as I'm making them out to be in my head. Your mind can be a scary place sometimes, so just remember to just take a pinch of fairy dust or something and just, you know, sprinkle it all around your brain our brain makes things 10 times worse than they normally are so breathe inhale exhale all that stress let it go being me is sometimes exhausting but i don't know how to be anyone else and that would be way more exhausting again don't be so hard on yourself okay you did good and it can be exhausting especially if you're being hard on yourself or if you've had a bad day but honey relax okay you're meant to be who you're meant to be right you're meant to be on this planet right now okay watching this video i mean if you were looking for a sign this video is that sign don't forget your royalty i'd rather be me uncomfortable now than have a continually disrupted future or a disrupted healing Whew. this one is packed i will just leave it as it is decipher it at your own will. Feelings are not something to be fixed, they are something to be felt. Stop beating yourself up for feeling things over and over again, okay? Just stop that. It doesn't help you, it doesn't help the situation, and it will not cause you to change if you're just constantly beating yourself up over the same things over and over again. Who will that help? Let yourself feel those feelings and emotions, okay? Let yourself really get down and dirty and gritty with it. If that's you, maybe you've just had a breakup or you've just had, you know, some bad news. I don't know what it is. Firstly, I'd like to say, I'm sorry. I know it was not my fault, but I just want to say that I'm sorry that you're going through this pain. Secondly, the only way to get over it is to go through it. No shortcuts, no take back seeds. You really have to pass go and collect your 200 pounds in Monopoly and walk your way around that whole board game. There's gonna be good moments, there's gonna be bad moments. That's, life is a bit of a game. You know, the only thing you can do is play along because you're in it for the ride, so you might as well. Eventually it'll get better and different feelings will arise and you'll be able to feel those too and you won't feel like you need to be fixed because you don't actually need to be fixed. Like granted, us as humans, we're flawed, which technically means kind of broken. That doesn't mean we can't heal. I'm rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? The cross has already accepted you. So has Jesus. So accept yourself. Now this one I actually got from a sermon I was watching. I don't remember which one. 
aware but it really stood out to me just a reminder that you are accepted by the most heavenly highest king of all and if he can accept you and love you flaws and all then you can definitely accept yourself because you are beautiful you are golden and you are going to be shining love is not just a soft place but also the place where you have to look at yourself and ask can i be better can i be kinder can i give more can i listen more can i support can i be more and even if you're already a great person which i'm sure you probably are the answer is always yes there's always parts where we can support a bit more and the more we give out the more we attract but also it's a way of loving others better but also loving yourself better because it doesn't necessarily mean that can i be better in this relationship it can be can i be better in this relationship with myself can i be kinder to myself can i support myself more you get the gist nature doesn't hurry and yet everything is accomplished if nature as in the mother nature, as in the grass, the trees. Is sand part of nature? Someone let me know, because I don't. Anyway, trees, the ocean, flowers, butterflies. If they all take their sweet time and yet get everything accomplished, if it takes like months and weeks for David Attenborough's nature documentaries to be made and then come out, surely there's room for you to do the same. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you found it interesting, at least. If you did, give me a like. If you wanna subscribe, you know where the button is. And I will see you all very, very soon. Also, before I end this video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you. Um, I noticed I have 90 subscribers, well, probably 90 plus by now, but anyway, not the point. I'm thankful for every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed this space and this community. Thanks for hanging. Okay, bye.